Okay, this quick tutorial is going to show you how to connect your audio interface, which is external of the software application, um, into your your DAW, uh, FL Studio in this one, but they're all pretty much the same. But in this one, we're using FL Studio, so we'll open that. And now we're in FL Studio. You can see I already have a vocal track linked. Um, I don't know where it is, but I think it's on the master. Yeah, anyway. Um, so for the audio interface, you want to come in and choose audio settings. Okay. Now, you would kind of think that you should have this audio setting set to your interface, which in my case, I have an Mbox Pro. But that's not really the case. You're going to set the Mbox Pro actually in the mixer over here. See how that's set to Mbox Pro? You're going to do it in the mixer. In the audio settings, you're going to keep it as Core ASIO, Core ASIO. Um, the rest of these are kind of random. I'm using them for streaming audio into my video editor. So like Soundflower, I show you the Soundflower 2 channel, Soundflower 64, and I show you, and the multi-output one. Those are Ignore those. And just look at the primary sound driver and Mbox Pro. The Mbox Pro, the Mbox Pro is um, what I'm using as my audio interface. But in these audio settings, you're just going to keep it as core ASIO. Okay. Now in the mixer, so when that's set, just exit out. In the mixer, you're going to want to set your tracks. So whatever tracks that you're going to be recording into, say you're going to record an external guitar and you want to record an external vocal. Um, for example, I have a microphone, so on track five here, I'm going to insert, now like I said, all these Soundflower, ignore these. Um, I'm using this for my video editing software, but you probably won't have a whole giant list of channels from Soundflower. Um, but the Mbox down here, Mbox channel zero, channel one, these correlate to what your audio interface has. So on your audio interface, you have multiple channels. Um, my microphone's coming through channel one. So I'm going to use channel one, and now you'll hear it, the audio kind of change because I have, an, uh, I, I have a compressor on the master, but I'll take that off. And the volume's a little quieter now. And for vocal tracks, you kind of want to always have a compressor to bring up the gain so you can bring the gain up there on a vocal track so now I'm recording this through track 5 and if I wanted to record a guitar you plug the guitar into a different channel on your audio interface and then you link it say to track 6 so now channel 2 Mbox Pro channel 2 will be recording an external guitar um, but if I wanted to record this this microphone, make sure you always record it with this one up here. All right, don't record it with this. This is only recording what's in the step sequencer. Okay, this is only recording what's in the step sequencer and what you're doing with MIDI. You want to record it with this. So into playlist or Edison, but I prefer playlist because it gets put directly into this playlist. So into playlist. Now we're recording. Um, this is like live recording right now and when you so turning it off now we're recording there. Um, this is like live recording right now and when you so turning it off so yeah that's how it works so there's a live recording um, it got both the master because I do have this link to the master master shouldn't have any inputs um, the master should not have any inputs the master should have an output which in my case I'm using this multi output thing that I've had to make so I can so I'm sending the output the output of FL studio is being sent into my video editing software which is recording the vocals so I'm channeling it through FL into OS OBS to record but you shouldn't have any inputs on the master. You should have the inputs on the individual tracks. So if you want to do that again, you come back to track five where the recording is and you just do insert 
And now this is a live recording. I'm recording this directly into the track. And now this is a live recording. I'm recording this directly into the track. And now this is a so that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below, like and subscribe. My name is Epsilon144 and have a great day. Peace out.